That is absolutely freaking beautiful. Look how crisp that text is. That's amazing. The text is amazing. Um, that is Pokemon Snap. And that is not being emulated. That is being upscaled to 1080p through a FrameMeister XRGB Mini. And also being outputted by a modded Nintendo 64. If you couldn't already tell, it's... I, of course it's red right now, but this is like a color-changing LED. Hello everyone! Welcome to Tuesday. Um, I've been talking about this for quite some time. And uh, it arrived, everything arrived for it just the other day. Finally got a chance this afternoon to actually open this stuff up and try it out. Fortunately, it was largely plug and play. I must have bought all the right cables because I did get it working. And uh, it's basically a modded uh, N64 because the US models don't, by default, they're, they're not able to uh, output RGB. So this has been modded by a seller on eBay. That's going uh, through SCART. SCART going into the mini port of the XRGB Mini, and then it's doing its crazy upscaling, weird black magic, and outputting HDMI to the television at uh, 1080p60. I'm very impressed. Um, I've only tried it with Pokemon Snap, but I assume that trying it on, uh, on other games is going to give us really great results as well, so that's, uh, that's terribly exciting. Now, I haven't run it through the capture card yet, but I don't see any reason why the capture card wouldn't pick it up. I'm, I'm probably going to test this immediately by doing like a first 20 this week of a Nintendo 64 game. That seems like a, a good way to test capturing it and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm super pumped. And people will probably want to know more about this. I actually got my XRGB Mini off of, this might sound weird, some guy on a forum. Um, but they sell them in, like, like on online stores, but it's only in Japan. So you have to get it from, like, an online Japanese retailer type place. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it thus far. I gotta do some more testing, but for now, I gotta get ready because I have a dentist appointment today. And, uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful that I, I don't have any cavities, but, you know, we'll see what happens. My mouth is a little sore after that. Um, I've been going to the same dentist my entire life. And during all of that time, I have I always have had the same, whatever they call them. What's the name of the person who cleaned your Hygienist. Teeth? Hygienist, yes, hygienist. Um, but today, my hygienist was not there, even though she was scheduled to be, so I actually had someone else. So it was a slightly different experience. It's weird because you, you get very used to the way that someone works on your teeth, and then when someone else is doing it, you're like, huh, they're doing it in a completely different way, and they did. They did things in like slightly different steps. They started at different parts of the mouth and went to different parts of the mouth, and that was kind of interesting um, in a way. I got my, my gums poked a lot. And I was told that um, that I need to floss more, and it's kind of bad because the last time you guys remember, I was doing like the flossing challenge, trying to make sure I'd, I I floss every day. And for the most part, I did. But then that that was six months ago that I went to the dentist, and they were like, "Oh, good job, you've been flossing." Well, since then, I I, I almost treated it like it was leading up to that point, and that was the only time I ever needed to floss in my life. Because since then, I've done a pretty bad job of flossing. I have flossed. But not every day. Um, and now that I, I got there, they were like, "Yeah, you need to floss. Uh, this is this is something you need to do." And I'm like, uh, okay. I also have some sensitivity on my gums, which is something I've been dealing with for many years. And they were like, "Do you brush too hard?" And I said, "Well, I used to, and that's what caused the problem to begin with." I said, "I'm gentle with it now, but it's not perfect." Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm good. I do have to go back next week, unfortunately. I don't, they didn't say I have any cavities, but they did say that there's, that I do need to get some fillings, which is what you get when you have a cavity. <laughs> but they never said I had, I had a cavity. In fact, they, they made it out like it was not a big deal. So that's good, that made me feel better. But they said um, in some of my molars, there's, uh, I guess, it's like starting a cavity or something, and they want to just nip it in the butt and fill it. And I'm like, all right, that sounds fine. So I'm going to be back next week. It's fun.
Some time has passed and now it's the evening and I have had a really, really fantastic day. We had a really awesome dinner. We actually had a crock pot meal that I had started uh, this morning. Uh, you can see kind of what it was in there. It was like a salsa chicken that we ate with tortilla chips and it was really, really good. Really good. Um, if I remember, which I mean, my memory is bad, I'll try to put the, um, the recipe down below. We ate that. Uh, we watched an episode of Dragon Ball. We had to stop over to Justin's to pick up the keychains that he makes for uh, for Pack. So we got that done. And then you'll notice that we have the mic set up, and that's because we recorded uh, a bird story. And uh, we had not actually recorded that yet, and I knew we needed to to do it. It's very short. It's probably going to be. I think it's going to be four episodes. Um, very short. Very sweet. It's a game that has no dialogue. It's nothing but animation, a sprite-based game, and um, it was just really well done. It was it was cute, it was sweet. It, for some of it, it felt a little surreal, uh, but I really enjoyed it. It was it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad we chose to do that. It's by the same developer who made To the Moon, and there there's kind of some tie-ins, I guess, if you wanna if you wanna call it that. But uh, it was it was a good game. I would recommend you guys try it out if you haven't, um, but the LP will be out soon. By the time you guys get this vlog, the LP is long over, so go watch it if, if you'd like to check it out. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, today is Tuesday, which means tomorrow is Wednesday. It's the last day we have before we go to PAX. We leave for Seattle very early Thursday morning. I am excited. Um, but I still have a lot to do, so I've got a lot I need to try and accomplish tomorrow. Fingers crossed I can. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we? Now I gotta admit, these came out beautiful. They look absolutely scrumptious. And there's so many of them. Haha, <laughs> Eva, about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, lass, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man <laughs> loves a woman,